And if you live in the valley, you most likely have seen white surveillance blimps hovering over the border. Did you know it costs $5.3 million a year to maintain and operate just one of those blimps? And that has one valley congressman balking at the annual cost. Her Mike Jimenez has all the details. Good evening, Brenda. The Department of Homeland Security recently renewed a multi-million dollar contract to operate and maintain border surveillance blimps, or what is commonly known to the locals and border authorities as eyes in the sky. And joining me here today is Sandra Sanchez with BorderReport.com, who recently spoke with U.S. Congressman Henry Cuellar on this issue. That's right. Thanks for having me, Mike. Henry Cuellar basically told me that the units that we see behind uh, aerostats cost $5.3 million per year to maintain and operate. And that does not even include the Border Patrol officials who actually uh, do the camera operating equipment from inside the unit. So he said it's very cost prohibitive. Now, there's actually two types of these border surveillance blimps, correct? There are. There are two types of aerostats. Behind us is a smaller aerostat. And the controversy is that on gray days like this or when it's windy, it's about to rain. These cannot fly, um, and yet they cost so much money. There are eight of these units in southern Texas, and then in uh, Florida, Puerto Rico, Rio Grande City, and near Marfa, there are larger aerostats which can fly all the time, and Congressman Cuellar says those are worth the taxpayer money. Now, speaking of monies, there was uh, some movement recently on the contracts. Yes, a Virginia-based company recently got a $277 million contract to operate the larger aerostats, including the one in Rio Grande City. The company is called Periton Corporation. Okay, well, certainly a lot of useful information. Thank you very much, uh, Sandra, for joining us. Now, for more information on this story and other unique stories by Sandra Sanchez, you can visit borderreport.com. Reporting here in La Jolla, I'm Mike Menes for KVO Local 23 News. We're told residents have even raised privacy issues with the aerostats. Tomorrow, Mike Menes will bring you a report from a longtime Texas senator and Democratic candidate for U.S. Texas Senate who expresses his concerns about the privacy issue.